any creature has what he called, the translation is green life force energy that actually wants perfect health for that creature and that it's a driving force. Unfortunately, he believed, uh, as I do, that there were external forces that were preventing that expression of green life force energy. So he thought the purpose of a physician was to identify those external forces that were keeping the green life force energy from expressing itself and remove them or teach the patient to remove them. And then the patient would heal him or herself because the green life force energy would take over. Now that sounds kind of new age and touchy feely, but he was absolutely right. And one of the things that I guess uh, I and, and other people have discovered is that one of those external contributing factors are lectins. And if you remove certain lectins, uh, things you'll start to heal yourself. Um, let me give you another example. If we're out on the ocean uh, in a boat and the boat springs a leak in the bottom of the boat and water is rushing in, we have two options. The one option is we grab a bucket and we start bailing. Uh, the bigger the hole is, uh, like the old commercial, we're going to need a bigger bucket. And I think that most systems for healing the gut are just giving people buckets mm -hmm. to bail whatever. It's, it's a lot easier to plug the dumb hole and then you don't need buckets. Mm. And so if lectins are one of the major ways that we get leaky gut, then if we get lectins out of our diet, that's how we plug the holes. Unfortunately for us, the lining of the gut is only one cell thick. And so imagine one cell thickness keeping everything you eat or everything living in you, like bacteria, separated from you. And they're all held together, locked arm in arm with tight junctions. So what Dr. Fasano showed with gluten, which is a lectin, is that gluten makes its trouble by causing leaky gut. So once those spaces are open, not only do lectins get through, which are foreign proteins, they're splinters, but also pieces of bacteria call, or living bacteria also get through the wall. Now, on the other side of the wall is your border patrol, your immune system. And 65% of all the white cells in our body are up against this wall. Why are they there? Because that's where the problem is going to happen, if it's going to happen. So when these foreign proteins get across the wall, the immune system basically sounds the alarm sounds the air raid sirens, we go to threat level five, we scramble the fighter jets, and we actually go to war status. And as I talk about in the book, that war status is manifested in multiple ways, whether it's brain fog, whether it's arthritis, whether it's depression or anxiety, whether it's coronary artery disease, which is how I got interested in it in the first place. And all of these things come right back to what Hippocrates said 2,500 years ago, that if you want to f cure the disease, head to the gut. Mm -hmm. And I see this, for instance, uh, I had so many allergies as a young adult and in college that I had to get all allergy shots. Mm -hmm. And, you know, oh, you're allergic to things. Well, my allergies were just because my immune system was just on hyper overload. I don't have any allergies anymore. I didn't outgrow my allergies. Through the last 17 years, I've told my immune system to chill out. There's nothing to be interested in here because mm. there's nothing coming across the border. Mm.